Fertitta's Deli in Shreveport is more than a place to grab a quick bite. It's a cultural and social touchstone going back nearly 100 years. Karen's back and brings us behind the counter and into the kitchen to see what makes Fertitta's trademark sandwich stand out from the rest. A two-story red brick building at the corner of Sam R. Fertitta Drive in Shreveport advertises Home of the Muffy, a trademarked sandwich with an abbreviated name because its creator couldn't afford to spell out muffalata, or as some say muffaletta, in neon lights. Fertitta's Deli is Shreveport's oldest family-owned restaurant, continuously operating at the same location since 1927. This is the olive salad, and that's what I'm saying. It's different from your uh, New Orleans style because we chop ours. Everything is chopped, and we use our we use a little bit different um, spices in ours than they do, and that so that makes the difference. Of and we call it Papa Fertitta's olive mix. So um, it was actually my grandmother's recipe. Inside, Agatha Fertitta McCall makes the signature sandwich with its secret sauce, an olive mix and a closely guarded family recipe. Her grandfather, an Italian immigrant, built the building in 1927 as a neighborhood grocery store. Agatha's father, Sam, took over the store in 1949, renaming it Fertitta's, and in 1960 started selling the muffalata bread from New Orleans. He made him a sandwich on it. And we had a customer come in from the United Gas Company. He said, Mr. Fertitta, I wanna buy some imported food, some olives and some cheeses and stuff. And so uh, Daddy said, sure. And he says, but I've made this, this sandwich. He says, kind of like a New Orleans muffaletta, but not exactly, because I had to heat it because the bread had been frozen. So he said, why don't you try it? So the gentleman did. And he told Daddy, he said, that's the best sandwich I've ever eaten in my life. And he said, you ought to make these muffalettas. So Daddy says, no, I don't want to be in the sandwich business. I just want to sell the bread. Word spread of the delicious Fertitta sandwich and customers came pouring in. The Muffy became a culinary sensation, sparking an unintended business for the Fertitta family. What is the difference between a Muffy mm -hmm. and a Muffaletta? Okay, it's like apples and oranges. The original Muffaletta from Central Grocery is made cold. They put all Italian meats and Italian cheeses on it and they use an olive salad that they make and it's mainly like big chunks of green olives and the uh, Jordanaire, which is a vegetable and doesn't have any black olives in it. And it's um, a real thick olive oil base. Ours is all chopped up and we do use some of those products, but we also put black in ours, but I can't tell you the complete recipe because it is a secret of the family. We put a cotto salami and a ham and we use mozzarella cheese and we heat ours in the oven. Instead of the sesame seeds on top, they put like a corn dusting. So it's a little different, but I have a lot of people who like the corn dusting because if they have health issues and can't eat seeds, it helps them out so they can come in and eat my sandwich. Agatha took over for Tita's in 1980 after her father, Sam, became ill. She lives upstairs over the delicatessen, her childhood home, and where she raised her family, the third generation of Fertitas, Reverend Patrick Fertita and Dr. Nina Fertita Mitchell. There's a heavy weight to running a family business that's been going on for generations, and uh, being able to carry that tradition on is important to me. But it also is a joy because you know that there's so many different generations that have been touched by this business and now there will be more that will be touched by this business as well. On any given day, the delicatessen is buzzing with regulars who've been coming here for decades for the sandwich and a sense of community. I've been coming here uh, over 65 years. I came as a small child with my dad when it was just a grocery store. So it's a landmark in the community. I've been coming here for years ever since, well, we moved here from Chicago when I was 11. There's a feeling of family. I don't know whether it's the Italian side or what, but when Italians get together, they always, it's always like a feeling of family. And of course, I'm Italian on both sides. There are days that I get tired, but when people start coming in, my customers, especially my regulars that come once a week, it makes me so happy and so proud that they still, over all these years, 
want to come and, and eat with me. And it's like a big family. Everybody enjoys it. Over the years, Fertitta's menu has evolved to include Reverend Patrick's trademark creation, alligator Italian sausage served up in his signature Godfather sandwich. The name Godfather is trademarked in the state of Louisiana for food products, and I also have the uh, trademark on the tagline for the, for the alligator Italian sausage called the Boss of the Bayou. Today, Fertitta's Deli sits on the National Register of Historic Places. Inside, much of the deli's original signage and decorations remain, creating a museum-like experience for patrons. Walls of photos and newspaper clippings chronicle the family legacy, with space for the fourth generation of Fertitta family photos.